Hey guys, uh, so in the last log, um, basically we installed a Tanabi medallion exhaust on my 2003 S2000. Um, this is like the morning after first impressions and it, I actually really like it. It sounds stock, it's really quiet and it was kind of more fitting to my taste and you know, um, the install was fairly basic because I already had um, a high flow cat installed and I think a lot easier to remove an aftermarket exhaust system uh, more so than removing the OEM exhaust system so um, you only need I think the only tools I used were a 14 millimeter wrench a 14 millimeter socket a 16 millimeter socket and you need PB blaster uh, you need um, you know jack stands preferably I jacked up my car with four jack stands on each corner um, you guys will see that in the video and also I used um, uh, what did I use uh, I basically used a braking bar because one of the bolts was like kind of rusted uh, so if you have that just kind of have that in hand you don't need any power tools or any kind of like drill because everything like you know can be hand tightened um, there's probably torque specs that you can look at but you know I hand tightened everything and I didn't never had any issues with uh, installing exhaust um, I'll probably do a sound clip for you guys a little bit later but all in all I really like this Tanabe exhaust more than actually the NVIDIA I think the piping diameter is a little bit smaller um, but I think uh, all in all I think it's it's more suited for my taste because I don't really like loud cars I don't like drawing a lot of attention um, and I like kind of like that quieter cabin so you can kind of talk to people when you're driving um, yeah, but other than that I think the plans are I'm going to be selling my NVIDIA Q300 exhaust, um, so if any of you guys are local, uh, you can come by and pick it up. Uh, I'll probably list it for about, probably around 300 I got it brand new for about 700 so yeah, I'll probably listen, listen that up. It's a uh, pretty, it's in good condition. Uh, a little, couple of rock chips and a little dent, but you know, nothing major. Um, oh, quick update on S2000, I went forward, I actually bought, uh, the AP2 front end bumper and I also bought the Tone and the Mugen, uh, no, I'm sorry not the Mugen, the, the S2000 CR front limb so I'm going to be doing the conversion so I'll give you guys, I'll give you guys posted on that so yeah that's going to be awesome um, uh, other than that nothing much um, S2000 is due for an oil change um, probably change out the transmission fluid and the differential fluid as well while I'm at it It makes it a lot easier because one person can hold it, one person can kind of guide it in. Um, I can get some polyurethane bushings um, and exhaust hangers. The, the polyurethane exhaust hangers, not the bushings, sorry, because they hold the exhaust in place. It doesn't flex as much as the rubber hanger. I had that on my RSX and I think that helped a lot. So something I'll probably look forward to. It's fairly cheap and it takes like 10 minutes to install. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, just let me know uh, and enjoy the vlog. I know I didn't take too much good footage but you know I kind of once you start going you know, it's hard to stop and take videos so I kind of wanted to finish but um, yeah let me know and I uh, hope you guys enjoy it um, and I'll talk to you guys soon see you later bye what's up guys welcome back to another episode of Edison 32k car talk in this episode we're going to be installing a Kadabi medallion catback exhaust on my S2000 um, I, have, I am running a high flow cat and uh, we're going to probably get started and uh, I'll let you guys know once everything is done and we'll take some sound clips. So tune in. So that is the bird high flow cat. We're going to keep that on. We're just going to remove the exhaust, the NVQ vendor exhaust right there. Remove it all the way back. We have to remove the diffuser first. and. Uh, my brother got these two lights, which is really helpful. I recommend it for everybody. You can hang it, and it helps get the job done, especially at night. So you're gonna need a 14 millimeter wrench or socket, and you're gonna wanna break loose all three nuts. You're gonna put one on this end, like hold the wrench on this one, and on this one, you're gonna break loose the nut. Um, it helps if you spray some PV blaster, which I have right over there. PB blaster 
and then let it sit for about five minutes and go ahead and break the nuts open. It'll be really, really easy. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll get back. All right, we successfully got the old exhaust off. It's right here. Now, if you look up here, just gotta spray some WD-40 on the hangers right there. And uh, yeah, let's get started on the new exhaust. We'll do with the unboxing right now. All right, now we got everything off. We're going to unbox the new Tanami Valley exhaust for the S2000. Exciting. You can start your own YouTube channel. I have one. You can use it. You can use it. You can use it. Yeah. 